A common way to determine the molar mass of a volatile organic compound is to first determine the gas density, the mass density of that gas, and uh, with the ideal gas law, calculate the molar mass of the unknown gas. In this case, in this example, the oil produced from eucalyptus leaves contains the volatile organic compound eucalyptal. At 190 degrees Celsius and 60 torr, a sample of eucalyptal vapor had a density of 0 0.320 grams per liter. Calculate the molar mass of eucalyptal. We can use the recently just derived mass density equation for an ideal gas, and that is the density of an ideal gas is equal to the pressure of the gas times the molar mass of the gas divided by the gas constant divided by the absolute temperature. In this case, we're given the temperature is equal to 190 degrees Celsius. The pressure is equal to 60 torr, and the density of the gas is equal to 0 0.320 grams per liter. The gas constant that I'm going to choose to use here is the gas constant expressed in units of torr, which is 62.36 torr liters per mole Kelvin. I have four of my unknowns, so I can solve for my fifth, which is the molar mass. So I'll rearrange my equation first. The molar mass of an ideal gas is equal to the density of the gas times the gas constant times the absolute temperature divided by the pressure. Now I can simply plug in my values. The molar mass is equal to the density, which is 0 0.320 grams per liter times R, 62.3. 36 torr liter per mole Kelvin times the temperature it must be absolute so it's 190 degrees plus 273 that will convert it to Kelvin divided by the pressure which is 60 torr. I check my units the torr unit cancels the Kelvin unit cancels. This is going to end up in Kelvin. Kelvin unit cancels. The um, liter unit cancels. And I'm left with units of grams per mole, which is the unit that I need for molar mass. So if I just do the math in my calculator, the molar mass is equal to 154 grams per mole for the eucalyptal compound.